Hey. Hey, y'all. I'm busy as usual. But I figure, you know, I can talk to y'all while I do what I do. Anyway. So, we are going to start candle magic, okay? Easy magic, you know, when I got ready to start practicing, I was told earth magic. And earth magic is cool because eventually you're going to have to start learning how to harness the power of, you know, the elements. It's cool. But earth magic is a little difficult, especially if you don't have time to cultivate plants. Now, if you would rather start with earth magic, Then let me know. But candle magic is simple. Could be a little time consuming depending on um different factors that go into your work. Okay. So um Yes. So, candle magic is fire magic, all right? Candle magic is fire magic, of course, because it uses, it utilizes, excuse me, the elements of fire, okay? And, um, what am I doing? I'm trying to clear this table. <clears throat> Because this is where I do my study and stuff. And I got books and journals and cards. So I'm trying to straighten this up. Because now it's time to divide. Alright? I already told y'all the instructions on how y'all get y'all reading this book. You too. Back to the topic at hand. Candle magic. It's fire magic. That means it's going to produce um, movement in action. This is what you will utilize candle magic for. Of course, you use all magic to produce things, but you want to use candle magic to get a body in motion. So, you know, mm, fire energy, you know. Um, because the flame is the illuminator in the darkness. When you do magic, for those of you that don't know, little jewel here it is best to do your magic in the night there are some times when you can do it in the day but in the night okay because you want the power of the flame now um you can simply light a candle and call it a spell but there are processes and steps that you need to do before you start any type of magic operation, okay? First step in magic is cleanliness, okay? You can't be doing no magic if the space ain't clean. Well, you can, but you letting stuff in you might not want in. Now, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do magic then you know you you might want to sit in them disgusting places if you are doing a cleansing you might have to go to the disgusting places and work your way out you know stuff like this but when you are doing magic home then you want to make sure your space is clean because you don't want to invite any negativity into your space of living, especially if you have children, okay? Now, when you are doing magic and you have children, they are targets 
for negative entities, energy, and all of that. So you want to be really careful about using black magic, okay? We'll discuss black magic at a later date, but for right now, we're just going to say... Um, Sorry, y'all. Got a break for it. Um, we just gonna say bad magic or baneful magic. That's what we gonna say. You don't wanna do baneful magic in the house. You open yourself up to these energies now. And depending on what you're doing and who you're doing it to. Okay? Now, candle magic is simple. That's why I said we can start there. Clean up. All right? I, I can't stress that enough. I was going to go into a whole spill about clean. You know what? I probably should. But we'll come back to it. I'm going to do a um, series on cleansing. But we're going to start with this candle magic. You have to clean your candles. You have to anoint your candles. You have to... Pray and chant over your candles. You you have to speak to the candles, okay? That's just light the candle, you know? You don't have to anoint the candle if you don't want to. You do have to speak to the candle. You have to work the candle, okay? You can't just pull it out and light it. No, it is called doing work for a reason because it is work, okay? You have to cleanse that candle, all right? Next video... We'll go into how you cleanse a candle, all right? It's just the introduction, so y'all get ready. If you smart, you get a candle. <laughs> Bye.